As a personal tutor, you need to know how to report a concern. If you're employed by a school, follow their policies and procedures and report to the safeguarding, child protection or pastoral team. If it's a company or an agency that you're working for, they will have their own policies and procedures in place that you need to follow. As an independent tutor, you should have your own policies and procedures in place and know what to do. You can report to Children's Social Care or to NSPCC. It's also good practice to report to the child or young person's school because their safeguarding or child protection team might know what's going on for that child and your piece of information might be a part of the puzzle that helps that team. So when reporting a concern, you have to write down everything that you've seen. So making a written note is essential um, just to make sure that that's on record and it can be referred back to by the manager and the next steps can be taken. So, for example, if you witness something that's gone wrong, you'd have to write it in quite a lot of detail um, just so the manager can understand what's happened um, if they weren't present. If you're worried that a child is suffering from abuse or is at risk of being harmed, you have to report it. Never wait until a child or young person tells you directly that they're experiencing abuse before you take action. If you think that the child is in immediate danger, contact the police. If you're worried about a child but they're not in immediate danger, share your concerns with your local child protection services or call the NSPCC helpline. If you think it's safe to do so, you should also talk to the parents.